That's the one I want. That's where you want to see the bait down its mouth. Clobber that. Wow. He absolutely inhaled that chatterbait. That's incredible there. About time to finally a nice one for the year. Oh yeah. These are pretty good too. Man. Finally the water's up into the, about the Pushing the 60 degree mark. And. Oh. Cut this line and get him off the hook later. But I definitely want to put that mama back on whatever she was on. Alright. I'm doing pretty good tonight. Uh, not too bad. Caught a few. Uh, not too bad for early May. Uh, and remember, I talked before about transition times transition areas okay well now we're in a pre-spawn transition all right water's about 70 degrees just getting 70 degrees and the bass are starting to transition they're starting to move up from the deeper uh, break lines deeper you know six to eight feet and moving up into the flats you're gonna look for places to spawn uh, this is uh, this is when you want to try to get the big ones because the big ones move up first so uh, time on the water is important. Anyway, you find the harder bottoms, uh, areas are going to spawn the uh, sparse weed beds, uh, lily, lily pad stalks, and uh, anything with a little bit of harder bottom. You don't want that mud. But anyway, what I'm doing, and I've done okay tonight, I caught one a real nice one, alternating between a cr uh, chatterbait, homemade chatterbait, and, uh, and backstabber lures. I've talked about these before. Okay, I've been using a zero to four foot uh, backstabber, shallow running stabber uh, in a couple different colors and I've caught a few on those uh, alternating between the chatterbait but uh, anyway I wanted to show you because I've been talking about these backstabber lures I really like them I want to show them to you all right there we go the backstabber lure selection you got your lipless stabbers okay and you have your what I've been using is a zero to four foot stabber it's a good real good shallow running crankbait you've been hearing a lot of talk this year about uh, shallow running crankbaits. Uh, some of the big time pros are really using them and uh, doing well with them this year. And using them at the right time, they can be really great in the shallow water. Uh, they also come in, a, in, in uh, the uh, 8 to 10 foot model, and I believe they make a, uh, a 10 to 13 foot, 10 to 14 foot diver also called a stabber. Let me show you the real feature of these things. This is why I like them. Okay, this isn't your average crankbait. First thing you're going to notice look where the hooks are at. One in the back as normal, one on top. Okay, why is that? Well, because it gets them where they count, gets the fish where it counts. It's going to hook them in the top of the mouth. All right, that's one feature. This is the real kicker right here. Let's say you get a short strike, grabs the back hook. Both hooks rotate 360 degrees on a swivel, both the front, both the back, and the top hook. Okay, so let's say you get a, a hook, you get the fish hooked in the back. The back hook swings around on the swivel, gets them in the front hook. Not only does it help for your hookup percentage, but it also helps in landing a fish. We all know the biggest problem with uh, crankbaits and lipless crankbaits is they throw the lure a lot. Well, it means that the hooks rotate like that. Okay, you're not going to throw that fish. It's almost impossible to get off because there's no leverage. There's no leverage for that bass to throw that plug. Great, great feature. Very inventive. All right. Got your red sexy stabber. Got your citrus. Got your sexy stabber. I like that blue. It's a good blue and the lipless stabber. 
anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit about those. Uh, Keith Ray, the inventor of the backstabber lure, uh, a friend of mine down in Alabama. Uh, very, very well engineered product. I put a lot of time, put a lot of effort and thought into what bass fishermen have wanted for years. And they really came up with it with the backstabber lure with the rotating trebles and the hook on the top. So, uh, really like them. And they work, they work very good. And, uh, Suggest you pick yourself up some and try them out. They got all the right colors and the right design. So I'm gonna cover the the water column the whole way down from the zero to four foot range all the way down to the to the uh, 14 foot range, depending on what model you get. And then of course you have the, the lipless variety as well. They also make a three quarter ounce uh, saltwater variety uh, uh, for you saltwater guys. But uh, us bass fishermen sure like them. So. You get on their website and check them out, and uh, do your favor, do yourself a favor, and, and buy some of them. I've been using them. I like them. I'm going to use them a lot this year. So, uh, well, let's get back to catching some. Maybe we're going to catch some on the backstabber lure here. Some, uh, some more. So, it's a good night.